Welcome to WPZCart. In this video tutorial, we're going to walk through the user management area within EasyCart. Uh, as many of you know, uh, EasyCart not only does products and selling, but it does a lot of management uh, systems to allow businesses to easily take care of business uh, in the support that you need to post sale. And we have another video we walk through uh, discussing order management, which is a uh, really key spot where you fulfill your orders um, and so if you're looking for that video be sure to check out our video library uh, this video is going to cover our user management and <clears throat> a lot of times people will call in customers uh, whatnot will email or call in and, and they need their account fixed or they need their password changed or they want to change their emails and they just don't feel comfortable doing some of that so here is how you manage your user accounts now it's important to know that you do have guest checkouts on your EasyCart system as well and you don't have to have uh, guest checkouts you can require all of your users to actually uh, submit an account uh, during checkout if that is something that you are wanting to do you can come into our checkout settings and you can turn off guest checkout and that requires everybody to have an account also some of our products even if you do have guest checkout on require users to always have an account uh, for example subscriptions or digital downloads uh, or gift cards they require users to log into their account in order to manage uh, for subscriptions they need to be able to cancel their subscription or they need to be able to update the credit card on file so users are forced to do that so even if you have guest checkout turned on they'll still have to create an account in certain situations download same thing they have to be able to get to their account to download something and so with regular retail that's uh, typically where you'll see guest checkout as an option uh, but if you want to disable that you can now when you create accounts of course you can come in here and you can add new users and that way you could manually do it but most of the time these will be created as users check out and they will be given a security level called shopper uh, and that the other security level is an admin and if you have admins on your account that means that they can log in through our phone apps or our tablet apps and so those accounts are created here as well they're just given this extra security level so let's take a look at actual account uh, I'm just going to go ahead and edit one of these you can click the little edit icon and you'll just see some basic info first and last names emails as well as their user level uh, you can update the password if you need to for example when a client calls in and uh, can't reset their password or doesn't know their password sometimes it's nice to do that down below you have some other additional account options uh, for example you can leave notes um, you can also exclude this account from taxes or exclude this account from shipping and then down below we have basically their address their billing and shipping address information so if you need to update that for them as well so very basic information uh, one thing we do allow up here is a couple extra items that often are overlooked one of them is viewing this user's orders this is a great feature it shows all the orders that just this user has purchased and that's essentially just our filter up here is what we have uh, but that's a great feature if you didn't know that was there the other one that's really overlooked is the ability to log in as a user and this is a great feature if you click on it uh, it will tell you here you're now logged in as this user please use caution on the front end and what this allows you to do is mimic uh, what this user sees in their account so I can jump over here and click on my account and I'm now logged in as this user and I'm mimicking them so if you sell digital downloads or you sell subscriptions or you just need to get in here and see what this user sees uh, that's nice to be able to do you can click on here and view this users past orders uh, you can change their information here if they're having trouble see what they see and you can also log out so a great feature is that login as a user so that's the order man or I mean the user account area uh, very 
very simple for the most part. The other thing we have over here is user roles and subscribers. Now user roles, you'll see the two defaults. Uh, a lot of times people want to create a specific uh, you know, a specific account. Maybe you want to have uh, different wholesale users. Uh, you can do that by creating a new user role. Uh, I also showed you before that these uh, administrative accounts allow you to log in remotely with our apps and you can do that in here as well uh, maybe you want to have a specific user account made just for uh, order managers in your system and they're going to use the remote app so you can come in here and create a new role I'll call this uh, order fulfillment users and you can turn on remote user access and you can lock down the admin in our desktop apps to all these different panels and maybe you just want that user to access the store orders maybe you want them to access um, the customer reviews and you can save this and then give that status to somebody so for example I'll jump over here to my user account maybe this user is a wholesaler I could tag them with the wholesaler tier one and back on our products you can actually have unique pricing just for this user or this group uh, if this is an administrative account and let's say this is part of order fulfillment this is now one of those administrative users who can log in remotely with our desktop apps and they would only access those panels which you give them access to. So it doesn't apply to the WordPress admin here. It only applies to our remote apps in our premium edition. So it's good to know that that is available. And we also have another section over here on the left for subscribers. Now, subscribers are a little different than user accounts. All they are is a user's first name, last name, and their email address and sometimes it's just their email address we capture but this is where users sign up for newsletters on your front page uh, if you use our pop-up or if they go through the checkout process and they check the little box that says would you like to sign up for our newsletter the that is your subscriber list and these are people who willingly sign up for your subscriptions and you can download these into a CSV or a spreadsheet you can import them into custom programs like constant contact or MailChimp or uh, use your own newsletter system like Mailster plugin um, and that lets you send out mass emails to them as a subscriber list so it's a way for you to capture uh, some of that voluntarily during the checkout uh, why is it different than your user accounts and that's because your users may not always want to subscribe to your stuff so user accounts this is more of accounting purposes they really need the account to do some functionality subscribers on the other hand those are people who you know subscribe and say hey give me more information and so you can usually feel safe for sending out bulk emails to these these uh, users in this list so that's the user management area uh, it's pretty flexible uh, again if you're curious how our order management you uh, works and also ties into our user accounts uh, that's a good thing to watch is our order management video we talk about how you can come in here and actually attach user accounts to these orders um, so on and so forth so very flexible uh, we're trying to make tools in easy cart that make your business successful it should make it easy for you to manage orders and manage user accounts and uh, do the post order fulfillment that you need so stay tuned for more videos thanks for watching